The Learn It Faster program is all about intelligently managing your brain. To be successful, we need to have an excellent memory. To improve our memory, we have to understand the rules of how to input information into memory and how to access that memory. There are ways and means the brain likes to receive information to memory and we are going to be covering that in week one, two, and three. Every exercise in weeks one, two, and three are important to the next. For example, the average person can speak between 125 words per minute to a very good public speaker who can speak around 200 words per minute. But we can only hear about 800 words per minute. And yet, we can only comprehend about 400 words per minute. Therefore, when you're listening to your teacher, your professor, your boss, a public speaker, you have to be able to process information the way the memory wants it processed so you can have better recall later. That's what these first three weeks are all about. They're all about learning how to think, learning how to process for memory. Are you ready? Exercise 1 is all about speeding up our cognitive processing skills. The faster we process with accuracy, the greater our memory is going to be. Therefore, we're going to be doing the first exercise, which we call processing at the speed of thought. Your first step is to print out your score sheet. You will notice on the upper column on the left-hand side, ideal times for your speed of thought. Then proceed to do the exercise and compare your times to the target times. Continue to work at it until you can get to that speed or even better. But do your best and don't give up early because if you give up early you may never reach your memory goals. One way we can improve our memory is to improve the speed of thought. To improve the amount of time it takes us to think a thought and to have a neuromuscular reaction. That's what exercise one is all about. Let's go to exercise one. In exercise one you're going to see a box. Below the box is two buttons. One button says start, the next button says stop. Click on the start button. After you've clicked on the box you'll see the color changes. Immediately, when the color changes, click on the stop button. A pop-up will appear above the box that tells you how many one hundredths of a second that it took you to click stop. What you're doing in this exercise is you're teaching yourself how to manage the speed in which you're processing thought. That's critical for memory, focus, attention, and learning.